In a world where the answer to nearly every question is just a Google search away, every now and then I like to see if I can crack a natural mystery simply using the old scientific method. Collect as many observations as I can, and then argue with people about what those observations might mean. I have no clue what this species is. I found it in a swamp near my house. Today, without Googling, you and I will argue about how we think this strange plant reproduces. I've named it the Morning Star of Doom because, of course, it looks like one of those old Morning Star mace-like weapons that the Germans used to use to smash through armored soldiers. Morgenstern. Super wicked. What you are about to watch and hear are clips from a recording I made the first time I took a good look at this plant and started trying to figure out how it works. Ignore my strange vocabulary. I refer to seeds as eggs and so on. I spent a lot more time studying animal reproduction than plant reproduction, so whatever. At the end of the video, I will tell you how I think this plant reproduces, and I want you to argue with me about this down in the comments section. Next Wednesday, we'll look up how the plant really works and see if any of us got it right. Here we have just the most interesting little plant. You've got these little balls on the end here that turn into flowers. Those flowers turn into these spikes once they're fertilized. And these spikes, when they mature, they get really big. <laughs> and they always live along the shore. I'm curious to see what they look like when they're completely mature, like if they turn brown and how they open up. It's, it's just such a cool structure. So each one of these spikes is a fertilized egg cell. So, you know, it's going to be a seed. And each of those gets fertilized by this. I mean, I might be wrong. This might be the male part, you know? This might be the male part of the flower. And then these ones are the already fertilized females. And I just haven't seen what they look like. Actually, that... Yeah, no. Because here we have... We've got the whole spectrum. I think these are the things that turn into these little spikes. Yeah, the, the flowers may fall when they are... After they're fertilized. I wonder if this is a male and female flower then. So it's producing pollen and it's got the eggs at the base. Oh, that's really neat. <laughs> it's so fun to look at plants because you get kind of like a... When you look at a plant like this, it's, it's kind of like reading a comic book. <laughs> where you can see all the different frames and follow the story. But, you know, it's not written as clearly a comic book would be. <laughs> I wonder if we can find some that are more mature. Okay, here's one you can see that's recently fertilized so the the seeds are starting to bulk up but the flower is still on the uh, the ball. That's really cool. I have no clue what species this is by the way. If anyone knows let me know. There's a beetle in there. Doing the job of fertilization. No, sorry, that's not a beetle, that's a bee of some kind. So this flower is definitely at least partly male. That dude was collecting pollen. So there you have it, the conclusion that I came to in the field, which I'm actually doubting right now, by the way, was that each one of these little orbs will sprout flowers, and those flowers, once they are pollinated, will turn into a spiky little seed in a seed pod. Am I correct, or is something else happening here? Make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the little bell icon, because next week we'll try using Google to find out how the plant really works. 
Surely someone has studied this plant in depth and published their research online. But can we solve this mystery of evolution on our own? Argue and discuss.